guys and welcome back to my channel I am very happy to see you again and today we will be talking about the semi-finals from the tournament in Halle ATP 500 one of the very few events played on grass during the season it is a big one we have been having some very high ranked players this week in this tournament but all of the seats except one have been knocked out and guys before this tournament you can go and see my preview for this tournament but before this tournament started I predicted the winner to be Andrei Rublev and well so far so good for me Andrei Rublev yes it is the Russian the number seven player in the world who is the only seed left in the draw so let's look at the seeds guys and let's look how they played during this tournament very good players playing in this one this week at the Halle ATP 500 and we all know who is the Mr. 500 from the last year. It is Andrei Rublev. His only trophy also this year has come in Rotterdam ATP 500. So let's look at the seats which were already knocked out in Halle this week. Here we go. The seats from this tournament right here. So as you can see guys, number one seed, Daniel Medvedev, has been knocked out already in the first round. Stefano Tsitsipas eventually decided to withdraw from this tournament. Sasha Zverev knocked out just yesterday. Then Andrei Rublev, of course, he's the only seed left. Roger Federer, the 10th time winner here. He was knocked out by the young Canadian Felix Auger Aliasim. Roberto Bautista good also knocked out. David Goffin, of course, withdrawing in the first round due to some uh, medical problems, health issues, and Gal Monfils he has lost in the round one as well. So yeah, guys, these are the very good seats. It was supposed to be a very good tournament. It is still a very good tournament, but with very, very um, or a lot of surprises basically guys but right now let's concentrate on the first semi-final guys and we'll be doing for a preview for the one semi-final from Halle and also one semi-final from London from the Queen's Club from the Tsing Championships because I, I don't have uh, you know much time to do all four so we'll do one from this tournament and one from the other and from the tournament in Halle I have chosen to do a preview between between, uh, or for the battle between Andrei Rublev, the only seat left in the draw, and Nikolas Basilashvili. So let's begin with a Georgian, with Nikolas Basilashvili here, and the basic stats from this player here for you guys. So, Nikolas Basilashvili ranking number 30 in the world. He's 29 years of age. He comes from Georgia. He turned pro back in 2008. He plays right-handed, same, same as his opponent Andrei Rublev. This year overall for Nikolas Basilashvili, 19 wins, 15 losses. This year on grass, 5 wins, 1 loss. He has played also in Stuttgart the week before. He has lost in the second round to the later winner, Marin Cilic. And of course, he has played a little bit more games than other players in this Halle tournament because he also had to come through the qualifying rounds. He has, in his career so far, won five titles. This year titles for Nikolas Basilashvili, actually two more than Andrei Rublev. He has won the tournaments in Munich and in Hamburg. So, so far, Nikolas Basilashvili doing pretty good in Germany this season. And when we look at the path of Nikolas Basilashvili all the way to the semi-finals in Halle, here you go. In the first round qualifying, Nikolas Basilashvili was able to defeat Rudolf Molecker, the wild card from Germany. And in the second round qualifying, Nikolas Basilashvili as the number one seed was able to defeat the number seven seed. Again, another German, Yannick Hanfmann. Then he entered the main competition in the round of 32. He defeated the Frenchman Gilles Simon in three sets, 6 1, 3 6, 6 4. Then in the round of 16, he was able to defeat Arthur Rinderknecht, the qualifier from France, again in straight sets, this time 6 2, 7 5. And in the quarterfinals just today, he was able to defeat the South American Lloyd Harris, again in straight sets, 6 4, 7 6. So here you go, guys. This is the profile and the overview of the Georgian player, Nikolos Basilashvili. And right now, let's look at Andrei Rublev, or if you want to call him this way, Mr. 500. So here you go. Basic stats about Andrei Rublev coming your way. 
Here you go, Duresh and Andre Rublev, and actually my favorite player on ATP Tour right now. He's number seven in the world, age 23. He comes from Russia, obviously. He turned pro back in 2014. He plays right-handed. This year overall for the Russian, 31 wins, 9 losses. He's the second most uh, winning player so far this season only. Stefanos Tsitsipas from Greece has won more matches than Andrei Rublev. This year on grass for Rublev, so far so good. Three wins, zero losses. Of course, all of these wins coming in this week's tournament at Halle. And if he wants to win yet another ATP 500 title, he has to win five, oh, sorry, not five, two more this week. Uh, career titles for Andrei Rublev, eight. Of course, the majority he has won last year. This year so far, one title coming at the beginning of this season in Rotterdam. And let's look at path of Andrei Rublev all the way to the Halle 2021 semifinals. So in the round of 32, he was able to defeat his fellow Russian and actually his uh, doubles partner, Karen Kachanov. Rublev winning in a straight set, 6-3, 7-6. Then in the round of 16, he was able to defeat the very dangerous Australian Jordan Thompson again in straight set, 6-4, 6-4. And in the quarterfinals today, he started the day with a win over the wild card player from Germany, the veteran Philipp Kohlschreiber, already 37 years old, Andrei Rublev winning yet again in a straight set, 7-6, 6-2. So as you can see guys, Andrei Rublev has not dropped a single set so far this week in Halle, guys. It would be very interesting to see how he can play, at what level he can play against Nikolos Basilashvili. Again, uh, again, very, very difficult opponent to play against Nikolos Basilashvili. And right now, guys, let's look at my prediction for this matchup. So here we go. My prediction, prediction time it is. And guys, if you have watched my video for preview of this tournament, you already know that I predicted Andre Rublev to win this tournament. So far, it is going very good for me. Andre Rublev, the only seed left, so he should be considered a favorite to win this tournament. And I am sticking to my prediction, and I am predicting the Russian, the 23 year old, to win this semi final and to defeat. The Georgian player, Nikolos Basilashvili. Andre Rublev, the number four seed. I'm predicting this 23-year-old Russian to go all the way to the finals in Halle. And guys, right now the last thing that is left for us to do is to look at head-to-head -head statistics between Andre Rublev and Nikolos Basilashvili. They have actually met four times before. Two wins for Nikolos Basilashvili, two wins for Andre Rublev. So it should be a good one, guys. So far, their records are completely equal. It won't be the same case after their semi-final matchup. So here you go, guys. Head-to-head -head statistics between these two. As you can see, here is what I talked about just a few seconds before. They have played against each other four times before. Two wins for Andre Rublev, two wins for the Georgian. Last time they have met last year in Rotterdam. Andrei Rublev winning the, the matchup at the round of 32 in straight set 6-2, 6-3. Then they have met also at ATP Masters 1000 Cincinnati. Uh, back in 2019, Andrei Rublev winning that one in three sets, 6-7, 6-4, 6-2. They have met in 2019 in Hamburg as well, and in 2019 in Doha, the first two matchups went in favor of Nikolos. Basilashvili. So it should be a good one, guys. Should be a good matchup between Andrei Rublev and Nikolas Basilashvili in the semi finals of the tournament in Halle. And yeah, guys, uh, hopefully it will be a good one. Hopefully we, we will enjoy this match. Uh, it has been very, very hot indeed in Halle. Also, today the temperature went over 35 degrees Celsius, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So, cross, fingers crossed that the temperatures will be a little bit lower during the weekend, and hopefully, we will have uh, before us great free games, free matches of tennis, of course, two semifinals left and one final, of course, in the other semifinals, it will be the two very young players, the two rising stars of the next generation, it will be the Canadian, Felix Auger Aliassim facing off against the Frenchman, 
Ugo Umbert and the winner of that one will take on the winner of the first semi-final that we have just analyzed Andrei Rublev against Nikolos Basilashvili so again guys this is it for today's video hope you enjoyed it guys if you did definitely leave a like down below and please guys subscribe if you haven't already if you have please guys leave a comment down below and tell me who your favorite to win this one is Again, guys, thank you very much for all your support. We have reached 58 subscribers, which is just amazing. So thank you very much for that. And see you in the next video. See you in the next live stream. It is very possible that we will be live streaming uh, this semifinal tomorrow. So make sure to, to hang out with me uh, tomorrow. See you guys. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.